you doing guys? Today we're going to talk about how I adapted the original 857 clutch assembly to the 8-speed transmission that I got out of the B60. If you have seen my prior videos, you knew or found out that the original 3-speed transmission in the 857 was, was shot. I mean, basically third gear was non-existent. You had to hold the stick, the shifter, arm in third gear even to get it to run in third gear and even then it sounded hellish uh, so as you might have might know uh, I got that B60 tractor uh, late last year for free uh, in it was a really nice condition uh, 8 speed transmission so I decided to change or swap out to the 8 speed now that presented a problem in the sense that the original 857 setup, okay, had a under the brake uh, under the brake uh, drum actuation. In other words, the rod came from here and it went underneath the brake drum because the brake band was in the opposite direction of this one. The eight-speed off the B60, as you can see here. The mount is a little bit higher and the brake band runs I guess you would say in a counterclockwise fashion and the pull is actually from the top of the brake drum. In re looking at that I was trying to figure out how am I going to adapt this because I wanted the look of the original 857. I didn't want to have the B60 rod that comes out of the uh, seat the seat tower here um, and then down and have a brake have a brake pedal on the opposite side of the 857. Um, so I was looking at it and what I did was I came up with this which is basically a cable um, and I'll roll in the video on how I made that in general but essentially I took a piece of rod 3 8 rod I uh, bent it at 90 degrees with the torch I threaded it so that way it goes into the appropriate mount I made the cable okay I did have to make a cable guide because I didn't want it to rub right on the sharp edge of the brake band. I did this with a hammer and a torch, bolted it into place, and then obviously, I, as you can see down there, I soldered the cable into the threaded rod that I used uh, for the adjustment. I'm going to just swap over to the other side so you can see a little better uh, what I have. So let me just readjust my camera and I'll be right back. Okay. So from this position, you can see how I have that piece of threader rod. It's actually right here. Uh, it's soldered, the cable soldered directly into it. I have soldered a nut on the end uh, or in the thread, so that way I have a nice solid mounting point. I have a steel spacer, a nylon nut, so I can make adjustment. And that is how I got this to basically work. Um, it actually works quite well. Um, if we push this down, you can see that the brake comes in, comes in, and it does hold the tractor. Um, it doesn't really rub the cable on the on the thing because once we go like that, it opens up. Um, I can't do it with one hand holding the camera on the other, but the but the parking brake, the parking brake works. So let me set that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've set the parking brake, and if we rock the tractor, it won't move. It's locked into place, and if we just tap the pedal just lightly, which I'm going to do right now, it releases just fine. And there you go. And the parking brake is off. Um, so let me roll in the video very quickly of how I uh, made that cable and we'll be right back. So to make the cable, I 
as you can tell, I drilled and I tapped some holes. So I drilled a hole straight down the 3 8 threaded rod. And this is the end that's going to go on the brake band so I can have adjustment. I also drilled a number 7 hole all the way through. And I tapped it quarter 20. So that way I could shove the cable all the way in and then pinch it down with the bolts. Then what I did was, or what I did, sorry, is... I soldered the entire thing together. Soldered the bolts in, soldered the uh, cable into the into the actual piece of thread rod. I'm going to, or what I did was I cut the bolts and then I re-threaded it with my die so that way I would have full adjustability but I would have the ends of the bolts pinching the cable inside the thread rod. Now, on the end that goes to the lever I made a little fitting, I guess you would call it. Basically took a three piece of three eighths solid rod, bent it 90 degrees. I tapped it three eighths 16 so that way I could get a nice nut to hold the whole thing together. Again, I drilled and tapped it quarter 20. Cable goes in, bolt goes in, whole thing gets soldered, cut the bolt off and then shaped it with the file so that way it looks all nice and clean. And that is basically how I made the brake cable.